loved and valued for who they are. Um, doesn't matter the brokenness or trauma that, uh, that they experience in their life. More than 400,000 kids across the country are in the foster care system. Right now, those children are in need of a loving home, consistency, and a place to stay, Lauren. And so new this morning, our own Kelsey Anderson shows us different ways that you can help these kids and the families that care for them. Kelsey, good morning. Good morning, Lauren. So normally we're working for you, but all this week we're going to be working for youth, showing you the need in our community for foster families to support all of these children who need a place to stay. New this morning, we're introducing you to Brent and Amy Jo Fox, foster parents who adopted two young boys. For the Fox family, their big ideas didn't always start with yes. When our youngest biological daughter was about six weeks old, we lived in Ohio at the time. Um, and I just remember we had a conversation in our living room, um, still having a newborn, just that we felt like God was asking us to step into foster care. On her 10th birthday, they realized they never answered that calling. We realized that we had spent a whole decade um, too afraid to say yes. And so we decided we've been talking about this for 10 years and we are either going to jump in and say yes um, or we're never going to talk about it again. And so the next day we started the process to be licensed. Shortly after registering to foster one child, 10-month-old Devante was placed with them. 10 days after that, his biological brother Xavier was born and needed a home too. We said yes uh, to, to both. We kind of joke about it now, you know, God has a sense of humor uh, as far as like there was two that came. Soon after fostering, they adopted both Devante and Xavier. We were outnumbered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Overcoming the fears, they wouldn't be able to handle it. They wouldn't be able to provide. They wouldn't be able to give their two daughters their full attention. Realizing now their girls have eyes that see people who are hurting, people who need help, and people who just need family. It's, it's what they've been able to experience that has given them eyes to see and a heart that beats for people that I don't believe they would have had had we continued to say no. They know now families don't have to start together to end together. Now, Amy, Joe, and Brent, they tell me that they would not have been able to get through that fostering part of their adoption process without the support of their friends, families, and even complete strangers. And that's why now Amy Jo is a Hands of Hope Community Care Director. She leads a team of people who support a foster family, whether it's making meals, babysitting for a night out, or just talking to the foster families. She's, she's giving this to others what meant so much to her when she was fostering. Um, it's amazing to see just by them saying, you know, maybe I'm not supposed to bring a child into my home, um, or maybe it's just for not right now, but I want to do something to help. Um, and they stepped into that care community. It, they're essentially strangers, you know, um, that became a part of our family story. So you can get involved right now and fill this need, whether it's signing up um, to be an adoptive parent, to be a foster parent, or just being a part of one of those care communities. You can learn more on how to serve. They also, with Hands of Hope, they have what they call toe in the water opportunities. That's something as simple as buying a pack of diapers off an Amazon wish list. So to learn more about how you can serve this need here in Indianapolis and across the entire state, head over to handsofhopein.org. Reporting live, Kelsey Anderson, WRTV.